Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Folks, today what I want to talk to you about is an open source cloud hosting tool that you can use either in the data center or on a little server in your house. It makes it really easy to install open source, and I suppose maybe there's some proprietary apps in there too, very easily, saving a lot of the manual configuration and server setup. So all you have to do is just configure it. I found this tool thanks to learning about Peertube recently, and I talked about that in my recent video about Peertube. And so today, folks, I want to talk to you all about the tool I use to set up Peertube. So without further ado, why don't we, and say it with me because I know you're thinking it, jump right on in to setting up Peertube, or for that matter, anything with this cloud hosting tool. Let's hop right on inside. So once that you actually set up the tool, I'll do a separate video about how to install it, but it's basically installing Debian. In fact, you can even run the tool on top of a regular Debian install that you manually did without the system. But you can use an ISO file from them that will actually give you the whole utility baked right in. Once that you get it all set up, though, once you've ran the installer, once that you've set all this up, which will be in a different video, all you have to do is log into the web interface with the information it provides for the IP address and for the login. So once we do all of that, we'll just hop on in, we'll log in. And now that we're all logged in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into the applications menu. And inside of the applications menu, we can actually install new applications by clicking the install applications button, the green button, I think it's install applications. And then once we do that, we can search through the list of many different applications. We can search for Peertube like I'm gonna do here. And we can simply click on Peertube, install it, it's going to ask us for a couple basic informational things like what are we going to call this server, the PeerTube server, what are we going to use for the password. Actually, I don't think it uses the password. But anyway, regardless, you get the idea. Who should be the administrator of the account uh, for, for this PeerTube as far as the actual cloud hosting tool is concerned. Again, I'll go more over this in another video about PeerTube and about this tool, getting it installed and the more basic setup. But what I want to do is kind of go through the general overview of the tool today. So we already know that much, but let me go into a little more detail here about some of the other cool things you can do. It can actually update your OS from a GUI. So if you're somebody that wants to run this kind of stuff, but you're not really a fan of the command line, no, I personally like the command line, but if you don't, or you don't want to use it, or maybe, you know, you just, for whatever the reason, um, are having issues with it, you could always try this web interface. You can go in here and do software updates, to the Debian system itself with the app and all that. You can even, from what I understand, I think you can configure it to like auto update and such. So you could really set this thing up to be something that's user friendly for someone that's not exactly a Linux sysadmin expert kind of guy or girl. And then you could go in there and use this tool to make your life way easier. Who doesn't want to make their life easier? Of course, everybody does. So what if you want to set up this tool? Okay, well, you should just check out the website that I provide. But again, I think everybody would like to make their life a little bit easier. So why don't we do that today? Everybody, let me know your thoughts about this tool in the comments. This is just a quick little video about it, but I find the tool to be quite interesting. As you might have guessed, being on the Open Source Tonight channel, this tool is open source. So if you want to check out the source code, you can always do so. I'll put a link to that in the description too. Everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everybody. And action.